Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Lives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. On Days of Our Lives, Sloane's greatest nightmare is about to come true when EJ's DNA results arrive. After all, Eric is the father of Nicole's baby. And when you're in as deep as Sloane is at this point, it doesn't take long for your nightmare to become everyone else's. Of course, she was aware of the possibilities, which is why she forged Eric's DNA test. It wasn't guaranteed, but the risk appeared to be too great for Sloane to bear. And, as Jessica Surfati tells Soap Opera Digest in their latest issue, when Sloane discovers that EJ isn't Nicole's biological father, the discovery sends her into a tailspin. Sloane had always worked within the confines of the law, even when it came to avenging her parents. She may have tried to bend them to her with a little, but that was only because, as a great lawyer, she knew exactly how far she could go. Surfati, on the other hand, remarked, Sloane's already dug her grave. For her, the only way out is through. Sloane is just concerned with one thing, keeping her family intact. No matter how many more crimes she has to commit, what would she have to do to survive the deep-rooted deception she created? For starters, she'll have to modify the findings to show that E.J. is Nicole's father. Then she'll have to pretend she obtained them by chance. It's not a huge stretch, given that she and Nicole are both pregnant and being checked out at the hospital, but it's a big red flag for anyone who stops and thinks for a second. But that could only be the beginning. How far will Sloane go now that she's stretched the boundaries of the law? Surfati mentions that mind control is not out of the question. Of course, not of the Dimera, Dr. Rolf variety, but when Eric queries why she has Nicole's results, Sloane does the only thing she can think of, she makes him feel like garbage for not trusting her. It's manipulative, but then again, desperate people do desperate things. But how long can Sloane keep this up, and how many more horrific things will she have to do before the truth comes out? That is yet to be determined. We know her family isn't exactly a paragon of morality, from her father's preying on Chanel to her mother's assault on the college student, and Colin's attempts to murder everyone who has offended him. Could Sloane become hazardous as well? Maybe. As she explained to Melinda, the new family she is attempting to construct is all she has at the moment. Even the best people can go to perilous lengths when they are on the verge of losing everything. Then there's the danger. Sloane may find herself in the fight of her life once EJ discovers the truth. He'll undoubtedly lash out at Nicole and Eric, but Sloane is the one who offered him hope just to have it snatched away from him. And when you're in Dimmerous sights, breaching the law is the least of your concerns. Salem residents should be on the lookout because Eve will be returning on Thursday, August 3. Days of Our Lives is bringing Cassie DePaver's former prostitute back for a surprise visit, while well, technically she is having a visit from someone in Salem, and we must admit, it feels long overdue. With her previous high school flame, Harris, back in town, we hypothesized that now might be the moment for Eve to return. Of course, it was Charlotte Ross Eve who had an ill-fated, nearly fatal fling with Harris in the first place, but Soap Opera Digest says that DePaver will pick it up again for a rematch with Steve Burton's now-grown character. Harris is seeking forgiveness this time, so he pays a visit to Eve at her new residence in Bayview, where she's lived since being ruled criminally ill for the attempted murder-slash-brainwashing incident following Paige's death. I watched those old scenes, and he was mean to her. DePaver says of Harris and Eve's first confrontation in high school— he was a bully jock with a cruel soul. I basically tried to stick to the facts. We'll have to wait and see if Eve gives Harris what he wants, but she does tell him about the incident that brought her to Bayview. Despite the fact that it is only a one-episode return, DePava tells Saoti that being in Bayview helped her change for the better and she really worked hard on herself. So there's absolutely room for Eve to return to Selim in her own right, healthy and sane. DePaiva, for one, would welcome her return. It's not my world anymore, she admits, but I enjoy playing when they call, so everything is fine. 
While a sane Ave is clearly a wonderful thing, we've learned that one thing Salem can never seem to get enough of is troublemakers. Eve does not have to play nice just because she will be released someday. Her old playmates Jack and Jennifer may have been chased out of town by Gwen and Xander, but we're sure Eve could find enough to do in her hometown. As we look at the days of our lives spoilers for July 31 through August 11, secrets are revealed, familiar people return, and at least one romance appears to be in serious peril. Sarah receives an offer while her mother is shocked, Kristen and Brady's custody battle becomes tense, and trouble may be brewing at Bayview. Continue reading for all the latest information. The wedding bells are ringing. They're going to be especially loud since two brides are ready to go down the aisle. Click here for a photo-filled sneak preview of the double wedding. Kristen receives an invitation she can't truly decline because it requires her to appear in court. Sloane, in probably the least shocking act ever, tampers with Nicole and EJ's test results. Meanwhile, Eric is telling everyone how thrilled he is to be expecting a child with the vixen. Spoilers for days of our lives for Tuesday, August 1. Brady and Kristen appear before the court, and things are not going to turn out the way anyone anticipated. Channel assures Abe that he will remember everything soon, although she may be making promises that the universe cannot keep. Two supercouples have reconnected. Days of our lives spoilers for August 2nd. Wendy persuaded her brother to let go of his feelings for and preoccupation with Gabby, but she's not delighted that he appears to be spending a lot of time with Melinda. Sloane is quite adept at hiding secrets. Despite this, she resolves to notify someone about Nicole's pregnancy. Chanel and Talia's tensions are at an all-time high. Wendy expresses her dissatisfaction with the woman to whom her brother is pitching woo. Even being in familiar surroundings doesn't seem to help Abe recall what happened. Thursday, August three days of our lives spoilers. Eric has an idea for Sloane, but it's not exactly the type of thing that will knock a girl's socks off. In Bayview, Harris stumbles across an old friend. Chad takes EJ into his confidence, while Alex tells Stephanie about his date. Friday, August four days of our lives spoilers. Today is a momentous day for Nicole and the news. She not only receives some that are pretty disturbing, but she also has the opportunity to share some. Meanwhile, Melinda confronts Sloane, claiming to know exactly what she's been hiding. How will Xander react to Maggie's request for a major favor? When Trip wakes up, he'll be surprised by what, or who, he discovers in his bed. Spoilers for Days of Our Lives for the week of August 7. Monday, August 7 Days of Our Lives Spoilers. The cats seem to have escaped from the bag. Which one? The one Bonnie has been trying to keep hidden. Maggie discovers what Sarah has been hidden today. Tuesday, August 8 Days of Our Lives Spoilers. The good news is that Sean has returned to work. The bad news is that he is still feeling quite guilty. How will his mental turmoil affect his capacity to operate at work? Days of Our Lives Spoilers for August 9th. When Harris and Iva, played by General Hospital alums Steve Burton, ex-Jason, and Tamara Braun, ex-Carly, find themselves bonding at Bayview, it's like a general hospital reunion. Thursday, August 10 Days of Our Lives Spoilers. When Stephanie persuades Yuri to return to Salem, Alex may find himself in hot water. Monday, August 11, Days of Our Lives Spoilers. Stephanie and Chad, who haven't had it easy, are about to meet yet another stumbling block. What is she berating him about this time? Rex has an offer for Sarah. Of course, we can't help but question if it's a proposal rather than a proposition. Abe is finally back home with his real family, so visit our photo gallery of his and Paulina's family to catch up with all the carvers, prices, and everyone in between. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.